Oh guys, we have a, a tractor trailer here at the Federal Reserve that is stuck. You can see it should be simple, but in order not to damage the, the landing gear, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my, um, my spreader bar over it, grab it, and uh, swing it over just to uh, minimize the damage. It should be pretty simple, it should slide, but eh, some, sometimes they're anal and they don't want to damage uh, further, you know, as it is. They're, I'm sure they're embarrassed getting stuck like that, but it's fairly common here. They come out, uh, they come in empty and then they come in, uh, they come out loaded and um, get stuck. So let's get to it, guys. Uh, activate my free spools here. setting up my outriggers pretty humid today into the 90s but humidity is through the roof almost feels like uh, like Florida Florida is very humid the only reason I know obviously I've been to Florida but uh, fun fact, I used to play uh, water polo and I used to go out for tournaments for Junior Olympics and it was humid. How are you doing, sir? Are you going to just like check out the trailer or? Yeah, I'm going to pick up the trailer uh, so that way I clear your uh, your landing gear. Because okay. if I just drag it, I don't want to risk uh, damaging it, you know, so I'd rather just lift it. And it goes stuck like this. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, you come in empty and then come out loaded yeah. and it scrapes. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Downtown LA. Should be using water bottle only. My spreader bars. So next I'm going to attach my Bailey's uh, platinum slings on each end of the spreader bar. It's getting low enough so I can access it. I'm also going to uh, be using my wood to chalk the wheels in the back. That way when I lift it, it doesn't roll back. Because I will have the driver release his brakes. So when I swing it, it will uh, it would roll. Because I will not be picking up the whole load. I'm just gonna be picking up the front end where the the legs are at. Ah, it's warm. Alright, 
see so I will be using these it's platinum slings all oh, these 30,000 vertical 60,000 baskets which is more than enough for what I'm lifting Sling shackles. I love these ones, man. The contour on the shackle allows for full working load limit of the of the sling. No jagged edges to tear it apart. So that means that I will be protecting my sling. Yeah. I'll go over it and then one one each strap will go on the bottom okay. and I'll just connect something in the middle and go up. You can see all these guys are armed <laughs> with the AR-15s. That's because it's the Federal Reserve. And these guys don't mess around. use these straps and then I'll protect them with my angle iron
happened? No, I'm just gonna pick it and grab you over. So now I'll use these to uh, protect the side of it with the shackle. How it doesn't scratch it up and we're trying to protect the, the trailer as much as we can. Talking this side now. It doesn't roll back. told me to I asked if I could shoot up uh, my drone for insurance purposes but sometimes the last one we did they said we damaged the trailer is it okay if I just throw it up there and leave it there leave it where? it'll be right right here oh leave it on the sky I mean, yeah it'll just be hovering out of the way oh for insurance it doesn't matter okay yeah. I just thought I'd ask thank you yeah. go ahead and release the brakes what yeah I put the chocks over there just stay in it okay yeah. just stay in it yeah, both of them. It's released. Okay, I'm just gonna grab you and I'm gonna swing you over, okay? You're not holding the brake, are you? Are you holding the brake? No.
I know. I can see it. That's fine. Let me push you out a little bit. Hold the brake there. Set your brakes. You set your brakes? Set them. There you go. I think the bank is the one that pays for it. Okay. Let me double check, okay? Okay. See, so oddly enough, damage to the trailer no damage to the side of the wall no damage to uh, his landing gear which is uh, very important because when he drops this he doesn't want to compromise that with the heavy weight and it's always important to chalk your wheels because the moment you go airborne gravity wants to take over pull it Just unrig so this guy could pull out. Uh, last time when I did one, the guy was saying that we damaged his trailer. I remember that was here. Oh, okay, yeah. So um, I asked uh, one of the other officers if I could just throw it up just so I could see on top. Yeah. That's the whole purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Rather be there because then they want to charge you for the whole trailer, you know? Yeah. Not fair. Huh? How much you charge for this? For this? Um, I think uh, we charge you guys, no? Yeah. Officer, I think sergeant. Oh, okay. I think so. That's what it says on my notes. Yeah. So I'll just down there, down there, they get the bill, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'll have him pull out. That way he doesn't get stuck. And then I'll just put my truck away. Okay. Let me move my uh, boom out of the way. So that way you can turn, okay? Okay. Thank you. They're gonna pay. Okay. How much is it like? I'm not sure how much. Okay. I'm, I'm not in charge of the building department. So how much do you think it will be? It should be like. Uh, I'm not sure, man. To be honest with you, probably anywhere between 750 to 1500, maybe. Ballpark. Okay. It's pretty clear.
Is he next? Is he next? <laughs> I know. <laughs> That was heavy. For a moment it was uh, floating my truck. I am on my weak side, but it was pretty heavy. It was compensated by booming up and uh, going into my boom. Give me a little bit more strength and you know, just counterbalance the weight that I'm lifting and voila, went up. Pretty sure the driver was holding the brake, so it wasn't allowing the truck to roll towards uh, towards my boom angle. So the moment I mentioned something about the brakes, it said no, and then all of a sudden it moved. So <laughs> I figured it was uh, was holding the brakes. up the outriggers not for my cones one important thing you always want to pick them up facing the traffic just because you always get some knuckleheads and at least you have a chance if you have your back to them you really can't do much later.